Hey guys, it's me Zayn and today we're gonna talk about the Mealy Box and the disaster they make. Oh. Okay guys, so I have a few videos with Mealy Box because I have dealt with Mealy Box for a, like a long time. Because of reasons, you know. Actually, I'm gonna make a separate video about the Mealy Box, how I like managed to deal with them like better than I used to because right now I don't have that many Mealy Bucks as I would have like in other winters in the past because there were a lot of Mealy Bug parties and stuff like that in the past in my collection but it seems I I'm starting to winning the battle between me and between my Mealy Bucks but today I'm gonna talk about this guy here oh my god look at that Hand. Okay, so do you remember this guy? At first we repotted this together into this really beautiful bonsai style pot and then I made a few, I think, updates and a few times it popped up on my channel and always, always it was really beautiful. I think I will find some videos about this one in the past and I will put, put them on the screen. Well, right now it's not the best days for this guy here. Why? Because mealybugs, oh my god, mealybugs, I hate them. So this guy got some mealybugs this winter and I was battling them and I was trying to get rid of them and I tried everything. Finally I had to repot it because as you might already know, mealybugs will hide in the soil as well. And well, I was like, oh well, I don't have to repot it, maybe I will win the battle anyways. And I tried everything, I tried all of the homemade solutions uh, against mealybugs and nothing helped. Actually nothing helped because they kept coming back, no matter how I killed them on the leaves, on the stem between the leaves and these places because well it was really easy to get between these leaves because there is quite a space between the leaves of this plant as you can see that and by the way this is my Cressula ovata variety something which is this track ears or I don't know how it is called right now <laughs> because honestly it has a lot of names it goes under a lot of names so I'm not telling you the exact name right now but it's a second, okay? <laughs> so this was really precious in my collection because it looked really nice in this bonsai style pot and I really like this bonsai style repotting and everything regarding this one. Well, the thing is, it's not looking the best right now because of the mealy bugs. And when I tried everything, finally I had to repot it. So I repotted this guy, I removed all this soil and as you can see and as you might remember that I uh, actually put it a bit deeper uh, when it was repotted like previously but right now if you look at it from closer you will see that here are some root things going on and yes I will talk about this wire later uh, or maybe now <laughs> so here are these root system things going on here well I repotted it right now a little bit higher because well I wanted to like maintain the bonsai style and the bonsai look of it so I decided to repot it a little bit higher as if it were on a little hill a bonsai hill something you know and this was on my mind when I was repotting it and that's why it's a little bit potted a little bit higher but since it's potted a little bit higher and I removed a lot of well roots too and soil too and since it this is a shallow pot and it was potted like this there is nothing there to actually maintain on its place so that's why this wire is here actually this wire goes around on the bottom of this pot and that's how I managed to secure it because the wire is going between these two main branches here and that's how I secured it into the pot and right now this wire is pushing the succulent down into the soil with this the plant will be able to root itself down into the soil and after a time I can remove this wire from here but as you can see this wire is pretty 
good and it's securing the plant pretty well so that's really good I think I really like that so right now this soil is actually clean there are no mealybugs hiding in the soil because when I was repotting it I removed every mealybug I saw on this plant and also I repotted it so well there must be a really low amount of mealybugs right now on this plant honestly i can see some of these whitish things going on because mealybugs have this whitish remnants behind them because the eggs are covered with that fluff too and the bugs themselves are covered with, it, with that fluff too so there is a lot of well remnants uh, after the mealybugs on this plant now let's talk about the damage they made this bush this plant was a really nice looking bush full of leaves should i call it a bush i don't know a little mini tree or something it was covered with leaves like everywhere and it was really nice and i really liked it and then i failed like a lot of times removing the mealybugs so the mealybugs just kept coming back and damaging the plant and well it led to this so at first when the mealybugs started to affect the plant uh, well they love new growth and new growing points so they were actually on those parts and some new some new growing points were damaged to the point of no return so the plant uh, tried to grow some new growing points from the sides of the branches on some places but after that since mealybugs kept coming back the really bad part of the damage was that if there is a lot of mealybug damage on for example on one branch for example if this was really damaged this would just really easily break off so if you look at it from closer you can see that there are lots and lots of like let's say open wounds on this plant because that's how these branches are actually falling off here was a branch here was a branch here was a branch and on the other side you can see a good amount of these broken branch wound some things for example here and here as well so these parts were all all beautiful branches full of beautiful leaves so the mealybugs did not affect the plant that did start to shed only its leaves and that would be a better case but no the whole branches started to fall because of my mealybugs so that's really bad i think and uh, i'm left with this i mean it's a succulent it can survive a lot of things and now that it's repotted and hopefully clean of mealybugs it will grow back some leaves like i think in two years it will be really nice but actually i already can see some leaves growing right now as well which are new leaves on the stems well these branches won't grow again because they are broken off but on the sides of these broken branches there are some growing points and those growing points will actually well some of them will actually plump up after a time and they will start to grow new branches with new leaves so from now on hopefully if i'm really just get rid of if i really got rid of all the mealybugs it will grow nicely but from now on in the best case new branches will be created and new leaves will be created so the plant will be bushier and bushier but right now i'm going to show you how these new branch thingies look like on this lower part of this broken wound something there is this green nubbin well that green nubbin is a new branch and yes if you see some of these white fluff thingies and white bug looking thingies they are dead <laughs> so that's that's okay actually this leaf just broke up that's not good and i'm not gonna put it on the soil you can see already some new leaves and new branch forming there and i can show you another one somewhere here i can show you actually two broken branches which are producing which are producing new stuff and i hope i will be able to show you that as well now if you look at these branches both of them are producing 
a new set of leaves and a new branch on the lower part on the bottom part of this broken wound branch something that's a good sign that it's actually starting to grow already and yes i know i will still need to clean this plant up because there is a lot of remnants because of the mealy bugs well i wanted to make this update for you this disastrous looking crustula here because it's not good, it's really not good. So yeah, this is my video for today. If you like this video, click on the like button, leave a comment down in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and also don't forget to click on the bell button so you will get notifications every time I post, and don't forget to follow my Instagram account, my new Instagram account, and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel as well, and see you next time, bye guys.